Why hello there my fellow zombie slayers, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to State of Decay 2 Heart Attack, Episode 9, Infestation. The red storage unit that I've marked is one of the locations to search for materials, so it's obviously the one that has it. I'm a precog. I'm a psychic. That was fun. Didn't I just trade for building materials? I did, but then I used them to build the hydroponics and zeroed myself back out. Come on, dude. That doesn't sound good. Oh, I got through. Oh, that's even worse. I feel like I'm in a dumpster now. Hey, but I can do something you can't do. I can climb tall walls. I'm over here, idiots. Oh, really? The bloater blew up on my car? Of all the places. I feel like passing out. I know, dude. You're a tank. So the other radio call I want to make for is for food before I hit food zero. There is a uh, food outpost that I could secure, like this food st fruit stand, which I think I'm going to do just for the food security. Is it weird that uh, this makes you want to play Fallout 4? Makes me think that you think of ghouls as zombies. Bye, Horde. Driving at its best. This is peak driving. You might not like it, but this is what it looks like. So, uh, Andrew is no longer frustrated now that we have building materials. That's exactly what I thought would happen as a result of me fetching that. So, next up is for me to claim... Oh, you know, the hay barn might actually be better. So, what food outpost to claim? Hay barn to the northwest. Fruit stand to the north. Or, I guess I could take Swine and Bovine. To the west. It overlaps with the Armwell Gunshot, but I don't know, whatever. Have you guys pick real quick. And I think I'm going to switch off of... Right, neighbors. You got a minute to help? Materials for everyone? I'm going to uh, switch off of a semi. Because he's already a little infected. I'm going to try to level up the other members of the community so that I know all their citizen bonuses. Or hero bonuses, rather. Because I would... I dearly like to be working towards them. Is 
Sounds like there's a swarm outside. Yes. Hey, Barn is a clear winner. So I'll head that way and get it claimed. So between the hay barn, if I got the hay barn up to level two and the hydroponics with the uh, facility mod, I should be in the net positive for food. I also need to be a little bit more kinder to my car until I get a workshop level two because. Uh, where's the feral? There was a feral indicator here a second ago. No, no, no. Seriously, it's not the... Guys, guys, we got us a goddamn outpost, you know? I can already see ways to improve this place. All right, sweet. One of the advantages of this hay barn is it um, offers sort of more scouting, right? Because it's very unlikely that zombies are going to come from the north. So this shows me all the zombies that are coming from the northwest. Um, so it's very unlikely that there is going to be wandering hordes or infestations near my base now as a result. I'm going to help the neighbors. They had offered a quest called Materials for Everybody, and I am in desperate need of materials. So, hopefully they weren't lying. You want to hang out? Oh, they just want me to search for them. Obtain a rucksack of materials for the ratty outsiders. But I need them. I don't believe that there's really any other points of interest that are likely to have building materials around. Because I hit them all. But they live next to a tavern that might have food. You're enjoying the content? Keep it up? Well, thanks to the support from people like you, I can. Community support makes up like 99% of my income. So, uh, so thank you. Shit. It's hardly worth the effort. Cheers. The other thing I meant to ask is about specifically who you want to be the leader or what sort of leader to have. So there's trader, builder, sheriff, and warlord. A trader's bonus building is a, I'm going to call it a trade station. I forget literally what it's called. Um, and it allows you to call in no people that have supplies. And, and, um, and so you can be like, oh, uh, could I get a materials trader in my base? And, you know, it calls one in. Uh, a builder's benefit is a sniper tower which uh, helps to scout around the base and reduce uh, threat level and noise level. One or the other, I forget which. They changed it recently in this patch. Um, a sheriff. Or am I mixing it up with the sheriff? Let me make sure. The sheriff's uh, is the field hospital. So, like, a really good hospital for everybody. And then the Warlord is um, sort of like a workshop that makes bullets and explosives. And then there's also other benefits as well, um, apart from that. So, the other benefits would be the Builder can make a really nice barracks. It houses fewer people, but gives morale. And a, a better generator, but that's not needed because we have the uh, Builder Boon. Uh, the other, the sheriff does a luxury bear. Uh, no, the sheriff does a uh, a better lounge and a sh better shooting range. The trader does a better farm 
and a still to make luxury items, and the Warlord does a Spartan Barracks, so a loss of morale, but it houses a lot of people, and a fighting gym. So there's um, other facilities other than the main project that the leaders get bonuses to. So tis up to you. I'll leave that up for a bit. Don't let the Zeds get you. Don't let the Zeds get you. Okay. Apparently, I'm not allowed to like trade with them until uh, until I bring back uh, a rock of materials, which seems rude. Unfortunately for me, the locate materials is going to be on an almost one hour cooldown because I just used it, and I absolutely do not want to pull materials out of my own base because we have none. If I do that, and that will cause frustration and morale problems. I could use the fifth outpost slot that I have to claim a material site. Wouldn't be a it wouldn't be a terrible idea. I think I'd personally prefer fuel, maybe? As fuel is gonna be more important in the long run the materials, especially in Cascade Hills. The reason I say that is Cascade Hills is um a uh, special landmark is a building that allows you to upkeep all of your facilities without materials. The uh, Leeds Concrete Silos. So my best bet for building materials might be to head west out of town and to go to this storage shed that's just into Plague you. Territory. Search for what we need. Or that. The Pillage and Plunder Builder Mission. That sounds real good. I don't know if I'm going to be able to start that mission without um, canceling my current one, though. I'll check. But it, yeah, it's a really good mission. On. Oh, I just add him. Okay. That works. So you have a shotgun and a machete. Cool. Alright, perfect. Well, we're about to fix our building materials issues. I'm also very close to Citizen Bonus. So travel to the beautiful corner shed to scavenge materials. Oh, what is all the way up there? Dear Lord. Okay. How'd you scope this place out, dude? Like a UAV? Surely you did not go on foot. Alright, one more minute to vote in that poll. But it looks like Trader is gonna be for the win. Oh god. That was a lot of bloaters. They bring extra fuel? Well, I have two cans in the trunk, so it should be fine. It's the repair kits that I'm really worried about, because this car is all sorts of beat up, and I have no repair kits. So if it blows up, we're hoofing it. It appears to me like... There are hearts up this way as well. We're not quite in plague territory yet, but we will be soon. Oh, that looks like it would have building. Oh, it's empty. Alright, trader leader. 
Uh, the other question I had for you, this is a big question, is should we save up for the biggest base or move to a medium sized one first? So the biggest base requires a ton of influence and usually like six or so. I, I'd have to double check on the map, but I'm not in a place where I'm safe to do that. Um, what the member count is as well. Sometimes it requires like eight people or something like that. Um, what ends up happening is if you save up for the biggest one, um, you end up with a little bit of morale issues until you get to that point because you run out of beds and you sort of outgrow Fucking your small base as you're trying to save up. Town. But uh, if you move to a medium one, then you're spending a whole lot of influence moving to the medium one that you don't recoup when you move to the large one. So ultimately, it's more expensive to move to two bases rather than the one. But um, why we broke up, but it sort of started the whole downward slide. Oh, he just revealed something about his past and I was too busy yammering. What'd you reveal to me? You're a hopeless romantic. Okay. We got a passenger. Yeah, this dump's gonna have stuff I need. So there's a heart there. Huh. Oh my god. We're being quiet. Oh, that's a juggernaut. Why is there a juggernaut here? Really get in the car, get in the car, get in the car now. I might end up waking a heart here. Because there's a lot of zombies that probably need to die for me to do this mission. Eh, maybe not. Oh, wait, is there another? No, there's not another heart in there. If I can disengage from that juggernaut and that group and then make it back to the survey point, or just take the juggernaut out in this farm field, I can avoid waking the heart. Eat bumper, yo. One tud and bloody tud. Whoops! Alright, so it's stirring, which means it's woken up three fourths. I'm not necessarily afraid of waking a heart, especially up in this neck of the woods. It's, um, it might just be the only one in this area. And it could show interesting siege mechanics. So if it wakes, oh well. Wait. You know how I said I didn't have any repair kits? Uh, this is probably not what to do with a car on its last legs. My guess is not that I have any hard numbers to this. Uh, one more uh, small zombie kill and the heart's probably woken up. Maybe two. Maybe I can get away with two more. So I'm going to try to avoid these random plague zombies. Nope, it's up. No sense of being quiet now. I do have gas in the truck. That much I'm not worried about. Well, while I'm here, might as well uh, loot all the surrounding area. And it looks like you guys want me to move to a medium one before saving up for a big one. Or instead of saving up for a big one. So, copy that. Seems clear for now. 
But with a plague heart around, that won't last. Gore. Great, more crap. So soon this heart here will be infesting the area and sending out parties to try to siege the base. So that, that'll be fun. No, it, I think we already see a bit of a party. Yep, this is an infestation uh, group. Semi, your uh, your lead has caused some problems. That's okay. I don't blame you. That shit's gonna slow me down. And this is an infestation. Hole. Oh god, it's an infestation over the Pharaoh. Get in, get in, get in, get in, Hosemi, get in. See that one? I don't see the Pharaoh, but the game did say he was here. So that barn is now infested, despite the fact that I was like looting it. Game has no chill. Is this another horde patrolling that I'm looking at? In front of me? It might be. Essentially, this, this neighbor has gone to hell. Because we woke the heart. Come on, Cloud, go away. That's right, infestation cleared. Uh oh. Oh, also, when you. The infestation patrols, you'll start to see um, standard bloaters in them, which is very new to. Uh, it's very new to the mechanics of uh, lethal difficulty, where previously you would never, ever, ever have. Um, Non blood plague versions. I got a zombie coming at us. So I'm gonna uh, just rush to do this mission. Cause oh hi, camera. Cause the uh, the rowdy outsiders are getting a little upset. No more dead fuckers here. I'm more lucky. Fuck. Awesome. Here you put this. Out of gas. Keep the powder dry, buddy. Check that one off the list. I'll be nice and quiet. More fuel? And maybe gasoline in the uh, med kit. Be a weird thing to find, but it says the site may contain gas. Nope. Gotta drop something else first. Our travel sir. And that's pretty heavy. Well, it's your burden, Lydia, to carry, not mine, because I'm your thane. I would have liked to loot more of the ranch. But uh, given that the car is like smoking and all, I'm gonna head home. Oops, that. Well, oh god! Oh, brakes! Thank goodness for brakes. I forgot that that uh, bloater was just sort of chilling there. Bye, zombies! Oh! 
All right, current priority now is um, build a workshop level two, because I desperately need the repair kits, as I am. What? Uh, I just took a long turn, didn't I? Shoot. But hydroponics is up. Oh, uh, that reminds me. Put the compost bin into hydroponics so we can start making even more food. Hey, Rixel. How you doing? Or however I say your name. It lacks some vowels, so I'm only guessing here. Prescription Zill. Maybe that's maybe that's your name. Probably not. This is another point of interest. I want to uh, eventually loot the power substation and the water filtration because they tend to have good parts. Just honking to my neighbors. It's Rexel? Alright. Well, we made it. That should be a big help. Our community will flourish if we keep making smart choices like this. Yep. And I believe I just got it. Oops, wrong direction. I believe I just uh, became a citizen as well. So, positive outlook for experience rate. Not the best, but, you know, not terrible. Okay, there is workshop level two. And that will allow me to make uh, toolkits, repair kits. So at the moment, we're only down one food a day, which is honestly pretty good. And... Um, If I upgraded the hay barn to level 2 with a little bit more influence that I currently don't have, uh, we would be breaking even. Also, with the compost, uh, I will be up in the positive. So that's awesome. Alright, Hazemi, you are going to uh, rest, but good job scouting that. That was incredible. 8 plus, 10, 10. Please do it again. And then, uh, oh, you know what? I need to withdraw materials for the neighbors, that's right. Hmm. 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 Shoot. Uh. Darn it. I think what I'll do is I'll withdraw the ruck anyway. And then at least temporarily claim a materials outpost to make sure we don't zero. But I'm going to deliver this first. Because it's probably close to timing out. And I wouldn't mind trying to meet some enclaves that provided good bonuses. Because sometimes the enclaves will have amazing bonuses, which are super powerful. And if not, then I get a free member. I get my sixth. Hey, you're good people. 
Come on in. So they have rooftop recon, which is pretty miserable as far as I'm concerned. But the thing is, uh, I could just recruit them as soon as I want to move into a base that requires a plus one. Or requires me to have uh, more pop. So it's not that big of a deal that... Um, that uh, it's a bad enclave bonus. I'm rather not surprised. All my enclave bonuses so far have been uh, trash. The take away the supplies every 15 minutes enclave bonus? I don't know. There wasn't really a... Probably not, if I was to guess. But there wasn't a comprehensive list of all the changes in the patch notes. It was a more generalized list of, like, this is roughly what we did. Well, this dump's been emptied out. So I figured I could just claim this temporarily to make sure that we stay afloat material-wise. I don't see any more Zeds. I'm keeping my eyes peeled. So now we're going to be breaking even on building materials. So things won't break down, which is good. I still want to get the number above zero. Because if it's uh, sitting at zero and there's like an event that causes you to lose building materials, instead it will just like break a facility down and it becomes really expensive to repair. It sucks. So still going for building materials. If possible. Shouldn't we be living better than the damn zombies? Literally just happened. Uh, what broke? I actually don't see that anything broke. It was probably, oddly, if I was to guess, a build-in, like the double bunk room or command center or something like that that broke. And because it's like a build-in, it can't break. But I, I don't know, that's just a speculation. Because it I did just get a, like a facility broke down due to a lack of materials, but then nothing actually broke. It's kind of useful. I have a ton of things to sell to the Ready Outsiders. I'm going to go run some trade. Sell stuff we don't need. So there is not right now any leads on the map. So I think I will do trade and then scavenge. Really need those building materials, but I'm not... I mean, I guess I could try to swing by panicked escapees. Last time I was there, they only had, like, tampons for sale. I think they're, um... And I don't think it's been restocked since. It'd also be a good idea to, to continue working on getting our 
part salvager uh, leveled up. There's the panic escapees asking for more freebies. But I'm actually in a position to provide them food this time around, so I'll probably do it. Because in about a minute and 30, we're going to actually be in the food positive per day. Which is rare. Or I could just buy food off them. Yeah, so that, that'll work. Synergy. Hey, you. I got something you want. You got something I want. All right. Influence is um, 794. I think at uh, 800, I can upgrade another outpost with five building materials. So we're actually pretty close to that threshold as well. Trust. Don't piss that away. Who are you? Are you? Were you just talking Thank to yourself? You. Like seriously? Thanks. Hands hand you. Like That's what they have. Trying they have prison soap. Out there is gonna get all of us killed. <laughs> all right. I am gonna scavenge. I would drive over here to try to get to the storage shed, but I think the condition the vehicle's in, it's going to be wiser for me to stick around closer to home until this workshop is upgraded so that I can build uh, repair kits with the parts that I have. That's the smart play. Oh, is Yoda Cam uninflatable? Yeah, I just, um, it's available now. Sorry. I, I freeze it pre-stream, but then never remember to unpause it, because I'm bad at that. There you go. All you really need to do is remind me, and I'll just unpause it. <laughs> I just never remember. Diddly squat. Wow, that random zombie sounded very much like a screamer to me. So that was the power substation. Didn't get any circuitry, which is a little disappointing. We'll try the Welton Water Utility. the game would give you uh crossbow bolts back more regularly better watch out zombies are close i guess that's what um i never doubted that plan resourcefulness oh nice andrew nice he just found building materials out of nothing so now we're not zeroed 
and we're up two food a day. So we're in the positive for everything across the board. And I don't even have all the outposts that we could have or have them upgraded. So that's awesome. Yeah, that, I lucked out. That was big. So I suppose right now the, the long-term goal is to try to move into a medium-sized base, as that's what you guys voted on. So I'll do a quick base survey. Or repair kit. Yes. So the more and more distributing uh, requires six people and 1,500 um, influence. So that's pretty obtainable. I could get a sixth person just from recruiting from the Ready Outsiders, so that's not that hard. And it has two large outdoor slots, a small indoor, two small uh, outdoor. It comes with beds, a machine shop, and uh, a lot of fuel storage with a backup generator. The backup generator is not super useful considering I have the Builder Boon. Thank you for tuning in to State of Decay 2 Heart Attack, which originally streamed live on Twitch May 18th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, with subscribers and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow zombie slayers. 